What is going on everyone? It is Andrew here from iDownloadBlog. Today we're going to check out the new keyboard from Google called Gboard. It packs a ton of different features including swiping to be able to text, GIF search, and even Google searches. So once you have this installed, you can open up any app that you're going to be using a keyboard in and this will work. So whether that's something like a message or something like a note or even in a web browser, you can use this keyboard and you can use it as a standard keyboard. It has predictive text. It can automatically search your contacts. You can glide around the keyboard like swipe and many of those out there. So it works as kind of a standard keyboard, but really what makes this one different is the Google searches and the other searches that it can do. So first, uh, you're going to have your standard keyboard here, just your normal keyboard. But if you tap or hold on that globe icon, you can switch to the Gboard keyboard. A Google logo will now appear in that top left hand corner of the keyboard itself. And you can simply tap on it to insert search information. So the main idea is a lot of times you're going to be searching for something, deciding on a place to eat or a place to meet up. Then you have to switch to a browser, search for that information copy that information, jump back to your message, and then paste it. So if I was meeting somebody at the Apple store in Polaris, I'd have to go to my browser, search it, but now I can hit the Google button in my Gboard keyboard. It'll automatically pull up the directions to it and send it on its way. If you have location enabled, so location right here, it would be able to pull ones that are literally around you, so restaurants that are around you or anything like that. Not only can you do standard Google searches for things like restaurants, but you can even search GIFs. So it has a full GIF browser built in. I can type in dancing and find all these great GIFs of people dancing that I can simply tap and then paste into my messages. So that's a really handy feature. You don't have to have another keyboard for your GIFs. It'll even allow you to go through emoji all in this one keyboard. Not only will it let you go through them, but you can search for them. So I can start typing dancing and I'll see my two dancing options and just tap on them. And again, I'll just paste it into my message or my note, whatever it may be. Lastly, you can also do an image search straight from your keyboard. Unfortunately, this has not worked out great for me. So I'm going to search for something that I want. I want a MacBook icon for something that I'm working on. Unfortunately, these are my options, which granted they contain maybe a MacBook, but these are not MacBook icons. If I do a Google search in the browser for the exact same term, this is what I get. And this is more along the lines of what I was looking for. So I'm not sure why the image searches have not actually been very representative of what I'm looking for, but it is what it is. So maybe you'll have better luck than I did, but it's nice that it is included. Once you have this keyboard installed, it will show up as a separate app as they always do. If you're unfamiliar on how to install a keyboard, you simply go to settings, go to general, then slide down to keyboards. Once in the keyboard setting, you can hit the keyboards option at the top and then hit add new keyboard. This will search any apps on your phone that have a keyboard that you can enable. So we're going to look for Gboard here and it's going to be added to my list. I'm going to enable full access and that's going to allow it to basically search with the terms that you're putting into the keyboard. Otherwise it wouldn't, it would just do a normal keyboard. Uh, I'm also going to adjust the order, making Gboard the first keyboard on my list. So anytime I jump into an app, that's the first one that's going to load. The first time that you launch the Gboard app, it's going to kind of walk you through on how to actually enable it. Again, just holding on that globe icon and jumping down to Gboard in that little list of other keyboards you may be currently using. Other than that, it's basically a bunch of different settings. So we have keyboard settings right here on top. Uh, we can turn on that glide typing if you don't like that. Uh, if you want emoji suggestions, so if it'll actually pop up with those emojis as you're typing their names, a bunch of other standard keyboard options here. We also have search settings right below that. Those are going to do a few different things like do you want to be able to search your contacts and do you want to enable a location so it can find restaurants or stores around you. So to sum it up, the Gboard keyboard from Google is a free option available in the App Store with a link down below in the description. It works really well with a ton of different features that work pretty well other than the hit or miss image search. If you have any questions about the Gboard keyboard, let us know below. Please subscribe for more videos just like this. And until next time, this is Andrew for iDownloadBlog.